Welcome back to Library Stress YouTube channel. To this class, we'll be learning how to do this multi layered flounce design. Okay, so it has like one, two, three, and four layers. It's very simple to make and it is beginner friendly. This is what you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So, to draft the upper part of this web long, we need to measure what our circumference is going to be. So to measure the circumference on the waistline here, you can see that the peplum goes from here, then it comes back to this side, then it rolls over again before it comes back. So the same way, the same sequence this is following, that is how you are going to be measuring this on your waistline. So to measure this on our waistline now, I'm going to take my tape rule and then I'll measure. So this is my front and this is the waist area. So the first peplum is quite short. It's not so long, so it stops around here. Then from these five inches, I'm going to fold my tape rule, and then the next one goes like this. So it stops around the dart area. So that's for the second one. So from there, the third one goes over it again, and then stops around here. Then the last one goes and stops here. So I'm going to take the measurement that I have there, and this is around 25 inches. So that is going to be the circumference of my peplum. So now I'm going to divide 20, it's going to be a full flare. So I'll be dividing the 25 inches by 6.28. And what I have there is going to be the radius. So to know the length of this peplum, okay, you can look at if you look at it, to know the length that we're going to be using to draft this, we're going to be using the longest part of the peplum, which is this. Okay, so you can see that it is quite long. So on your main bodies, you may want to measure that from your waist area okay so from your waist you take your measurement from the waist upwards so you can stop maybe on the shoulder area or just extend it beyond the shoulder area by one or two inches so my shoulder area is around 16 inches i can leave it at 15 16 or 17 inches depending on what you want so that is going to be the length of the peplum before we now shape it to our desired design Okay, the first divided by 6.28 is giving me 3.9, which I'm going to be approximating to 4 inches. And the length I want to work with is 16 inches for the longest, which is the full length. So 4 plus 6 is 16 is going to give me 20. That's the total length I need for my flare. So now I'm going to be measuring 20 inches, and then I'm going to be connecting it round. So after connecting it, then I can now remove the 4 inches radius that I intend to work with. So I'm sure by now we are familiar with this process. So I'm just connecting it like that. And then I have my total length. And then from there, on the radius here, I'm going to be measuring four inches round. And then I'll cut this out so that we can shape the flame. To the design that we desire. So I have four inches like this, and then I'm going to cut it. So after cutting it out like this, I'm just going to open it up on one side. So I've opened it now, and then I'm going to try to spread it. So this is quite long, but we'll just follow what I am doing. Okay, so to shape this peplum, I'm going to be starting with the shortest length of the peplum. So it depends, the first one in front depends on how long you want it to be. It can be from 4, 5 to 6 inches. So I'll be using 6 inches here with allowance. So it depends on, entirely on what you want. Okay, so on the first open end here, remember we slashed the peplum open. So on this first open end here, I'm going to be measuring and I notched it. So I just put it together like this. And then notch it, I notch it on those four cardinal points. So this is the first, second, third, and fourth. So just put it on full then and, and notch it. So I've notched mine now, and this is what I have. So on this first opening here, I'll be measuring the shortest part, which for me is, I think, okay, maybe let's do seven inches. So if I'm doing seven inches, I'm doing seven inches here. So when I go over to the next point, I'm going to increase it to eight inches which is here. I hope you are following what I'm doing. Then I'll go over to the third one. I'll increase it to 9 inches, which is here. Then here, I'm going to be increasing it to 10 inches on the last one. So because this is what I want. If this is too long for you, and you can cut it out. 
If you cut it out and you fold it and you see that it is too long, you can shape it. So it's better for it to be too long than for it to be too short. So now that I've marked this, I'm just going to connect it together in a way that is going to rhyme perfectly. So I started with seven inches. So if I move here now, I can increase it by seven and a quarter. Then here I can remove, I can increase it by seven and a half. Then this is going to meet the eight inches that I measured on the next one. So I'm going to be connecting it like this. I hope you understand what I'm doing. So now we are going to meet the second point. Remember, the first one was seven inches. The second notch we made it eight inches. The third notch, which is nine inches. So from this eight inches, I'm just going to be increasing it bit by bit. So here I can do eight and quarter. Here I can do eight and half. Then it's going to meet the nine inches that I have here. So I'm going to be connecting it. So you can see how I'm just increasing this gradually. So now we move to the next one, which is 10 inches. So from this nine, I can do nine and quarter here. Then here I'll do nine and half. Then I'm going to connect it like that to the 10 inches. Okay, so we're done connecting it. So after connecting that, the next thing we are going to do from this 10 inches point, okay, remember this is the second to the last or the, this here is the last notch. So from that point here, I'm just going to be connecting it diagonally to this sharp end. Okay, let me, okay, I hope you can see it. So from here now, remember the actual length here is 16 inches, okay. So this is 16 inches. So from the 10 inches that we stop there, I'm just going to be connecting it to that sharp 16 inches pin. You can use a ruler or a slightly curved ruler if you have. Okay. So I'm just connecting it like that. And then I'm going to shape it out. So after shaping it out, I'm going to fold it to see what I have. And if I'm okay with it, I'll just go with it. So you can see the shape that we have here. It's quite big. I just hope we can see it. So let me see. You can see we started from the six six inches, which is seven inches, so which is around here, and then we ended it on the 17 inches that we started with. You can see how we just connected it pointed like this. So I hope we can just see okay the shape that I have here. So now I'll take my scissors now and then cut out this shape. Okay, so after shaping the peplum, this is the shape that we have. Okay, so you then proceed to place it on your bodies to see if you have, if what you have is okay for you. If it's too small, you can trim it off and if it is too big, you can cut it off. So when I placed it on my peplum, I realized that the radius that I used was too long for me because I don't want it, I just want these flanks to be in between in between the two dots like this so just in between these two dots i don't want it spilling over to the sides too much so because it's this radius is too long for me now i'm going to be cutting off some of it so i can decide to just cut off maybe remember i notched it at first four quadrants so i can decide to cut off from one of the quadrants here like this then once i have this now i'll go ahead to fold it again and see what I have. So if what I have is fine with me, remember this longest part is going to come up like this and then this is going to come and fold over it like this. So after folding over it, this is going to come like this also and then the shortest one is going to come like this, which is perfect for me. So I like this shape that I have now and if I place this on my peplum, on my blouse sorry if i place this on my blouse now and i will see what i have okay so this is it on my blouse and this is what it is looking like which is okay for me so now i'm going to proceed to my to my fabric now and cut this exact shape for my lining so after cutting this now i'm going to be adding interface you can add maybe a color stay or gum stay to heat so that it can strengthen it then i'll take it to the sewing machine to so okay so i've cut out this exact shape again for my lining so now i have two of this then i'll go ahead to add my interface then after adding the interface i'm just going to be sewing it on the hemline round and then on this point 
so that I'll just I'll be able to turn it, leaving just the radius part open for me to turn it. Then I'll iron it. Then I'll bring it back to show us what we have. Okay, so I want her to add a collar stay. So the collar stay is quite strong to just one side. Okay, the other stay, the other side does not have a collar stay. I did collar stay to just one side, and I put them together, and then I sew it round. So after sewing it round. I turned it out, then I ironed it really flat like this. So you can see how flat this is lying. So this is how I'm going to be folding. It's just like it is on the picture. I'm going to be folding it by placing this longest part here like this. And then I'm going to be folding this over the longest part. Then this is going to come just like we measure this when we were measuring. This is going to come underneath it. And this is going to come like this. Okay. So this is the shape that we are aiming to get. You can see how it lays one, two, three. And it's just this is shorter than this and this and this, just like that. So now I'm going to be adding this to my front. And this is what it's looking like on the back. So if it is not, it's not going to if you put it the same way, you can see that this is a bit higher than the others. So I'm just going to be holding it with a stitch there so that it can hold. If you put them together like this. It's, it's going to be something like this, which I don't really like. I want the longest one to really be elongated, to give me that elongated shape like that. So that's why I'm not putting them on the same level. On, I'm not putting it on the same level as the other one. So if you don't mind this shape, you can actually put it on the same level with them. With them. But this is what I'm aiming to achieve. So that is why I just decided to put it like that. So now I'm going to be sewing this to my main bodies like this okay so we can see what we have then i'll bring it back to so th so this is what the design looks like after sewing so for the peplum part we already have a tutorial on how to do an asymmetric peplum on the channel you can check it out or you can use this same method to draft the asymmetric peplum so you can go ahead to add a, a brand to this and then decorate it with whatever trimming that you wish so these are the layers this is the first second third and this is the longest one you can see how beautiful this is looking and how simple it is to make this i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed this let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye